Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, we factor 4 raised to power x out, and we have 4 raised to power x into brackets 1 plus 1 left here equals to 36 on this side. That is here, this becomes 4 raised to power x times 1 plus 1, that's 2, equals to 36 from here. The next step here, we divide both sides by 2. That is, divide this side by 2. Also, divide this side by 2. Here, 2 cancelled each other. We have 4 raised to power hex equals to 36 over 2 here. That is, here we have 4 raised to power hex equals to, and write this as 2 times 18 over. 2. That is here, 2 cancelled each other. And we have 4 raised to power hex equals to 18 from here. The next step here, we take a log on both sides and we have log 4 raised to power hex equals to log 18 on this side. Then here we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m, raised to power p this same thing as p log m at this here this becomes x log 4 equals to log 18 from here then next step here we divide both side by log 4 divide this side by log 4 also divide this side by log 4. That is here, log 4 cancelled each other. We have x left here, which is equal to log 18 over log 4. Then, from here, we can write 18 as 2 times 9. And all we have becomes x equals to log 2 times 9 over log 4. Then this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, here we have x equals to log 2 plus log 9 over log 4. That is here, we separate this into two fractions. And we have x equals to log 2 over log 4 plus log 9 over log 4. And from here, we can write 4 as 2 times 2, that's 2 square. And also 9 as 3 times 3, that's 3 square. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 2 over log 2 squared plus log 3 squared over log 2 squared. Then here we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here, 2 comes here, and also here. And we have x equals to log 2 over 2 log 2 plus 2 log 3 over 2 log 2. The next step here, we have log 2 cancel each other, 1 over 2 left here, that is x equals to 1 over 2 plus. Also here, 2 cancel each other, we have log 3 over log 2. The next step here, we apply change of base here. When we have log A over log B. The same thing as log A to base B. At this here, this becomes x equals to 1 over 2 plus log 3 base 2. 
Then also, when we bring this together as one fraction, we have x equals to the same here, that's 2. And here we have 1, then plus. This becomes 2 log 3 base 2. That is, the value of x here we have 1 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here. And this, which is x equals to 1 plus 2 log 3 base 2 over 2. Then what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 3 base 2 over 2 plus also 4 is to power 1 plus 2 log 3 is 2 over 2 is equals to 36 from here then this follows when we have same thing together that is from a plus a which can be written as 2 times a also, here we have something added, and we can write as 2 times 4 raised to the power 1 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 2. Is it equal to 36 on this side? But this, this becomes 2 times 4 can be written as 2 squared, which is raised to the power 1 plus 2 log 3. Base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 36 on this side? Then this power multiplies and so here cancel each other. And we have 2 times 2 raised to the power 1 plus 2 log 3 is 2. Is it equals to 36 from here? Then here yeah, this follows law of indices. When we have 2 raised to the power n plus n. I use a a raised to power n plus n, which is equal to a raised to power n times a raised to power n. That is here we have two times two raised to power one times two raised to power two log three base two is this equal to thirty six on this side. And here we have two times two raised to power one. That's two times. Here we reverse this two from power law. We have two raised to power log. 3 square base 2 is equal to 36 on this side. Then 2 times 2, here we have 4. Then times 2 raised to the power log 3 square, that's 9. Base 2 is equal to 36 on this side. Then this follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equal to b. That is the same thing as 9. And we have 4 times 9. Is it equals to 36 from here? And of course, 4 times 9 gives us 36, which is equals to 36 here. We have left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 1 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 2 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment see you in next class and bye for now